Hey there, welcome back to the Lucy channel. Welcome back to Critical Role Prediction for episode, I think it's 22, campaign 3. Let's get into it. Okay, so same as last time, I'm pulling from the Lenor Lenormand to see what um, major thing is going to happen on the episode. And we have the whips in reverse and the ring in reverse. Now, if you're a traditional Lenormand reader, I know. It's weird. You don't, read, you don't read Lenormand in reverse, but here we are. So what I'm seeing with this, I feel like some commitment gets broken. Um, that's immediately what I saw when these two cards shuffled out of the deck. I feel like some, some commitment they make or some commitment they thought gets broken. Maybe they veer off path a little bit um, to do something different. Um, uh, they could find something out about some kind of pact that was made. Um, like a pact is, re is released or a pact is hindered in some way. I changed it. <laughs> I'm thinking also there's some kind of um, <clears throat> misunderstanding as it relates to an understanding. A misunderstanding as it relates to some kind of agreement, pact, commitment. Um, but I'm also I'm also kind of getting <laughs> this is kind of nuanced. Something that was thought to be understood was actually misunderstood, thereby understanding it a little bit better. So there's some misunderstandings behind something that I feel was um, trusted something that they thought was a promise something that they thought was uh happening some kind of like a, you know that type of thing like an agreement or a relationship there's like a, a re-understanding or a misunderstanding two sides of the similar coin of that now i'm gonna get into some tarot and dig a little deeper i'm basically thinking about shuffling off camera because i feel like it's um just the <sighs> The quickest way for me to cut out all the fluff you know um with making the, the video a little bit shorter because i, I don't really edit my reads <laughs> as you've noticed they're really raw um pretty uncut save from a cut here and there but yeah i'm mostly show I, i'm thinking of shuffling off camera so that it's not 37 minutes long but um we'll see so what, what happens, what happens in this episode of Critical Roles, Bells, Hells, so we're having some of the some similar, um, ish characters coming out, I think. Oh. No, says she'll shuffle off camera and then does it in person. I don't know. I feel like it's more authentic, you know. But ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, I I'm not sure if we'll find out more information about. Um, I don't know. To me, when I think of a couple, the immediate couple that I think about is. Ladna's parents like I'm I'm sorry did I say Ladna's parents I meant what's her face Imogen's parents I feel like there's still something here about Imogen's uh parents like some type of finding out a little bit more about their dynamic so we have in terms of the episode the knight of pentacles in reverse I forgot what I said I forgot if I said this was Ladna or this was Ashton um, don't remember at all, but we have the King of Wands as well, so we have two characters here. Um, I feel like FCG finds something out, or we find something out about FCG, um, some type of knowledge about him that he's not too happy with. I'm just gonna fly off the cuff here and see what I, what, say what I mean. I feel like there's some type of partnership here um an unlikely partnership here between our people and uh, another party 
by party i mean person or group of people or organization or something so just they're a party and another party you know like party of the first part that type of thing party as in like a descriptive <laughs> Ooh, a descriptive thing um I want to say there's going to be quite a bit of talk in this episode. Like, you know, maybe maybe some reveals or some some thoughts, some type of, you know, a lot maybe a lot more dialogue, interdialogue between the characters. Um I'm hopeful for a dream sequence here. I'm kind of seeing something there with the with the temperance, so we'll see about that. I feel like they get stalled in something. Um, they get stalled in in something on their. I think by the end of the first episode, uh, <clears throat> uh, they had skipped over the. They traveled really fast. Like I remember last prediction, the chariot came out, and I was like, "Yeah, they move really fast. They move really fast," and so they did. They quite like literally did just move through the days of getting back to the main city so i, f I feel like though there's maybe a different i want to say they, they think they're going to take a certain path but they pivot a bit and choose a different path i feel like something new comes up and they sort of do that i don't know if you want to call that like a side mission <clears throat> but i don't feel like it was one of their their main things um I'm not sure if I'm just gonna say I'm maybe picking up Imogen and library visit here even with the two of wands here I want to know what this nine of cups is here with this king of wands and this whole situation here with the knight of pentacles I feel like Ashton there's something that he finds out I mean I know we found out in the last episode that he was pretty upset and watching um four-sided dive he revealed something about Ashton. By the way, this is like spoilers. You know this, right? He revealed that Ashton has certain lines that he, when are crossed, he will do certain things to make it okay for him as a person. Like when he makes a deal and it's broken, he creates a new deal. That's, I think, what he pretty much said kind of verbatim. Um, so I feel like maybe he, he might still be thinking about that there's some information here that is <sighs> unseen unknown we got a little bit more about that so perhaps they struggle with knowing what this new piece of information adds to the story there was that um those pieces of paper but i feel like there's some information here that they don't quite get that and or i feel like there's something here that men sh that shows <sighs> it feels like they visit some kind of disappointment this episode they feel they visit some kind of disappointment um i'm gonna say around ash i'm picking up ashton a lot like i, I want to say lot now but i'm maybe but i'm really more so picking up like ashton something here um there is a redirect in in this next series episode i just don't know who the king of wands is i don't know who the king of wands is i feel like this is someone who i want to say this is the game master i feel like the king of wands is the game master i'm not sure if there'll be some type of chutney drop um information with him and his whole deal with the wood and the guy that he's somewhat looking for but also not looking for um okay but i feel like this is the game master the king of wands i just don't know what <laughs> maybe something that the game master planned is redirected like something happens in the episode that redirects the game master's plans or what the game master thought the bell's hell's plans were gonna be i feel like there is some type of redirection in in the episode i'm curious to see how that turns out like even some type of like dead end situation um 
here. Okay. I feel like someone makes like a wrong conclusion, like a wrong... <clears throat> A wrong guess, a guess that isn't quite right, <laughs> hence wrong guess. I do feel like overall the episode is probably going to be chill, um, not too crazy, um, or at least it definitely starts off kind of chill, not too crazy. Some emotional moments between, I don't know who, who are these emotional, okay, the, oh, the tower in reverse, okay, so... Ladna? I don't know. Why am I forcing Ladna into this? The tower and the ace of cups in reverse for the uh, the the connection topic. This again is a near miss over a potential sort of like new beginning or ill. This oh my god, what is this? Mmm. Like, <clears throat> I feel like we <clears throat> there's some type of a connection between Ashton and <clears throat> like a conversation between Ashton and Imogen. I just see an Ace of Cups as Imogen um, type character, but and I'm also kind of picking up on the Ace of Cups sort of being someone who's had. A love of some kind. So perhaps Ashton and Orem. Maybe talking about the, the theft that he was in. The only thing is, <clears throat> I'm kind of a little bit jaded by Four-Sided Dive. Um, because he said some things in there that the rest of the people were like, Oh, okay, cool. Meaning it didn't come up in the episode. But like, this is what I'm picking up on. But maybe he alludes to some of this Ashton in uh the actual episode i feel like there is some connections between obviously people had some people had a really bad term with the tower in reverse i pick up like ladna hanging of course um but then i also see these people jumping out the window which is what happened to ashton so there's those elements of who this might be about i keep focusing so much on ashton i mean there's the king of wands here Again, I'm not picking up a character, but if I was, if I was to push it, I would say Fern. So let's clarify the King of Wands here. What's the energy of the King of Wands bringing to this episode? What is what does the King of Wands have to say about this episode? All right, King of <laughs> Knight of Cups in Reverse. Jeez Louise, I feel like this episode is gonna have a lot of like, um, I don't know, I, like some some sad backstory stuff, you know. The Knight of Wands could have something to do with Fern. This could have something to do with um, her story, her fate, nature. I don't know why I keep I keep picking that up. Like I know in the previous prediction, I mentioned something about her, her fate, nature. The Empress came up, and I was like really convinced. And it wasn't as big as I thought it would be, as I hoped it would be. But there was something the Game Master did where she hit a natural 20 and like her fey nature deflected or did something to this attack that was going to be on her she kind of face shimmers or something i don't know that was pretty dope i loved that so um but with this knight of cups i'm seeing this desert a wander a wanderer um a, a romantic a dreamer and that feels furnished that feels uh fey wildish but the Knight of Cups is also a person. So I'm wondering if... Something more about this. No. Oh, the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Somebody definitely shares a little bit more about their backstory. I'm... Also... Thinking Chetney and Orm. Just because this like lover boy, this lovey energy is reminding me of Imogen, her parents, and that whole thing, and Orem, simply because they have this sort of love story attached to them, Imogen via her parents, which is like my thing, and Orem with his um, big moon, little moon uh, husband. Uh, as far as anybody else, there hasn't been any 
allusion to any uh romance or anything like that i don't know why i feel like ashton had some kind of heartbreak somewhere along the way um not physical but like you know like a emotional heartbreak and maybe that's something that we we see here um i want to i want to say that hopefully more information comes out about that heist that he pulled i ref i, I kind of feel like it's not i don't know I, I don't know if it's the if it's if it's the end all be all that we will hear of that slice of his of his backstory tell me where this ace of swords okay the chariot in reverse and the seven of cups so yeah this i feel like this this episode is going to be frustrating and therefore i feel like it's going to be frustrating for the the characters the bell's house the, the squad because I'm, i don't think they will have the answers that they want i feel like they've they may have hit a kind of wall um in the search for certain things that they're looking for i'm, I'm picking up on orm's story quite possibly even um, you know, Imogen's mom and the like. Um, with these Seven of Cups, I feel like there's all these different options that they could do, these different paths and side things that they might be able to uh, do or pick up on, etc. Um, but none of them really seem pertinent to the, the what they're going after themselves. But that may be where some of the GM's frustration might be in my eyes um or you know like the, the overlord of the story uh where they may might know where they can get certain pieces of information but the characters themselves are sort of failing to see that uh yeah that something could be related um yeah so we're with this three of swords here I'm avoiding this temperance. I don't know. I feel like it's just chill. We'll look at it some more. Okay, the Queen of Wands. Um, so we have counterparts. The Queen of Wands and the King of Wands out here. Okay. So quite possibly something over um, Chetney and uh, Fern here. Um, not sure if Fern has some history of a dalliance in the future or she finds something out about chutney did i say chutney or did i say for whatever I'm, I'm, I'm with these two counterparts wood and wood i'm gonna say there's something um revealing about someone's i don't know heartbreak backstory and could be a little bit more about fern as well um i don't know why i keep look we'll see how it goes for fun let's go uh temperance tell me more about this temperance more about this this queen of wands queen of cups okay and then the high priestess i feel like i don't know maybe fern has some drops about her grandmother she might say something in passing about her grandmother um and her her mother there's a city here and there's a sky so perhaps she mentions a little bit more about aeor and that path that storyline so they do have quite a couple of options regarding storylines but it's like where would they really go to get any sort of information. Perhaps the King of Wands is an Estaros type, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm really not, I don't know, I'm not married to that one. With the Temperance here showing us the Ten of Wands, <sighs> yeah, I, I feel like there's, it's going to be, um, an episode of dialogue, an episode of like digesting information. Um, trying to figure out information, trying to put pieces together, as well as finding things out about each other and kind of disgusting, disgusting, <laughs> discussing next moves and um, people not speaking up about everything that they could. Yeah, I feel like it'll be. I feel like there'll be callbacks to this episode in the future over a moment where it could have been somewhere where they could have shared something, but perhaps they didn't and maybe shared only a little bit with this Four of Swords coming out. So 
I think I'm gonna end this here. Um, I will pull a guidance card. I liked what happened last last time. Last time, um, the guidance came out. We you know we we talked about the prediction over something happening with the other team with the verdict, and that came true, uh, or that was you know shown to be uh, true in the episode with them having some type of effect collaboration. Uh, just, there was something there. The verdict taking care of each other. So that was that was kind of fun to see. I liked I liked that. That was a nice little hey hey. But uh, I liked that the guidance was soulmates, which is largely a message about partnership, um, working together, relationships, and honoring those. So I want to know what the guidance is for our Bell's Hells this episode. And we'll see, you know, how that goes. In my mind, I'm just remembering Bo and how she would often misunderstand Caleb. <laughs> Good times. All right. So what is the guidance for the Bell's Hells? Deep knowing. Yeah, I feel like... Even with Thinker, I feel like this is about them talking about information and sharing fork in the road. This is, I feel like it's going to be, again, it's going to be difficult for them to make a decision on where to go, what to do, and maybe they pick up some side something to help pass time. I don't know. I feel like there's, there's some, there's quite an, a, a bunch of uncertainty over where to go and what to do next. So... And I feel like the the powers that be, aka the GM, are kind, is kind of like, oh, but you guys, like, this is a thread. But I don't feel like they're catching it. All right, so 43, their guidance this episode yields deep knowing. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into dialogue with source. <laughs> the consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys to access their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that is missing when the story is told. Excuse me. That you have the ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you open... Oh my god. This deep knowing allows you open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human experience. You're given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then act accordingly. You are now invited into the sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources. So this is definitely in line with what this sort of um, the terror was was bringing up. This there's something they might be missing or something that they're saying but not latching onto. There's this sort of um, world convulsion that's like, oh, but you're you're so close. Or and I'm I'm curious if they do in fact go with what their instinct is, and it's like, okay, you did make a end up making the right choice for this certain story plot. You did end up asking the right question or the right person, and I wonder if the powers that be aka the gm is going to be maybe dropping a little more hints and kind of like the way they they did in the um by happenstance how orem was spotted by the man from who had seen the twins last or something he he was able to flag him down and give him some information so i i liked i liked that i feel like there might be a, they might be something similar to that in in this episode um but i, I feel like it's going to be a bit of a struggle for the powers that be to move and guide the characters in the way that they need to go but it'll be I, i'll be i'll be curious to see how they latch on how they find the clues and how they move so hey we'll watch it together and see how it goes let me know how you like this and what your predictions are but the episode is <laughs> starting today i'm late with this one so anyway keep your light on good luck and i'll see you next time